Hello everybody, today I thought I would do a complete re-theme of my phone for Valentine's Day, transforming it from this to this. So if you're interested to see how I have decorated my phone for this Valentine's Day, please continue watching and I hope you enjoy the video. First up, we're going to make one of the easiest changes and that is the phone case. So let me just reach into my handy drawer and pull out one of my phone cases. So I found this phone case on AliExpress. I find that it is super hard, at least in Australia, to find cases for Z Flip phones, especially cute ones. So I found that the best place is AliExpress. And honestly, they just have such cute options. I've bought a few now and I have plans for upcoming phone decoration videos just based around the phone cases. So this is the one I have chosen today for our Valentine's theme. super cute is this phone case. So I decided to use this one today because it has little heart motifs everywhere. It looks like a cute little phone which obviously matches the fact that this is a phone video and I just found it super duper cute and I think I can make this work for our Valentine's theme. So this is all we're working with right now. I currently have a lock screen of my kitty and then on the home screen it's just a simple cat and we have kind of pink icons and pink message history and stuff like that. So it already looks, you know, very cute, but I have had this theme on for a while. And as I said, it's Valentine's Day next week. So I'm getting excited and I hope you guys are too. So I really wanted to re-theme everything to make it as lovey-dovey as possible. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Galaxy theme store. And from there, I'm going to have a scroll through just kind of the love themes by searching for love. And then we can filter by top free to find some of the cute ones that are on the store. Now, because I want this as lovey-dovey as possible, I'm going to go through each category, themes, wallpapers, icons, and always on display. And find my favorite. And that way I might actually do like a mix and match because usually I'm quite... I don't want to say lazy, but I'm quite time efficient where I find a theme, I set the theme, and I just go with whatever it applies. But this time I think I want to maybe choose the theme that's my favourite and then alter the wallpaper, maybe change the icons. We'll see how we go. So I've gone and saved a few relevant themes. I found a couple. There's this one called Free February Love Z Flip um, because it's actually designed for the Z Flip, so it includes a cover screen, which is quite helpful. It's definitely love themed, but I think I want to incorporate some like maybe cute characters or something as well. Now, I've also found this one, which is called Love Too Soon. And this one does have these cute characters, but I'm still not quite vibing. It actually, it looks like the characters on my um, mouse pad here, but I don't know. I, I think I want something pink. Now, I mean, this one is definitely right up my alleyway. It's got cats, it's got love hearts. I'm definitely leaning towards this one. I think this one could work for kind of what I want. You know, we're celebrating love, we're celebrating love for cats because cats are the best. And I also found this one here, which is a lot more like uh, realistic, I guess you could say, because the cats are real pictures of cats. Um, but I found this cover screen very cute. So what I might try doing is having this cover screen with this as the home screen. I don't, I'm not, I'm not particularly a fan of this like purple though. So I wonder if I could just save that wallpaper or if I can't do that. Let's take a look. Okay, so I really, really actually do love this wallpaper. It's so cute. I love this little love heart clip as well. Um, but yeah, the issue for me is this like purple. So I can't seem to find how to apply just the wallpaper alone, which is quite silly because it should be an obvious setting. Uh, so let's just compare with this one as well and see which one we like better. And then we can alter the icons and stuff as needed. Yeah, okay, so this one, this one I'm not quite vibing as much with. It seems like it's cropped for the long screen because Z Flips do have a longer screen than most phones. Um, so I, I tend to like something smaller here, that way I can have my usual widgets up the top. 
So, let's just look at this. I do like this here, the cute little cats, but I could just apply that afterwards. So, yeah, maybe let's go back to the other theme. Whoa. Oh my god, did you just see that? <gasps> oh! Okay. I actually kind of love it. That's really fun. Okay, let's see if the other one has an animated lock screen. That was like so unexpected. This one, and by the way, is called Snooze Kittens Crew. And I will link the one that I end up choosing below. Let me know if you need links for any of the other ones that you liked. Um, but you should just be able to search the name um, and it should pop up. Okay, so this one, yeah. This one definitely like suits the way that I like my phone to be laid out better. And it still does have a cute little animated screen on it, which I think is very nice. The colour scheme matches the phone case, which I do like, so maybe I can get over the bright purple and actually learn to like a new colour. Oh, I was kind of expecting like another fun jump up, but look, let's be honest, this is probably better for the phone battery not having like a full animated screen. So I think I'm going to work with this. I did find a loved theme uh, wallpaper, which is this one here. You can apply it to the log screen or the home screen, but I think... Oh, they're different. That's cute. No, I kind of like these two, so I don't think I'm going to change the wallpaper because I do like that. So let's check out the icons because these icons here, uh, they do match. I don't know if they're love themed enough for me, so let's take a look. I want to see these ones because these are like cute little candy hearts. Um, it's called Valentine Heart Candy by Imagine Designs. And we'll see if they work because if they don't work, I'm happy to go back, but I really do want to kind of have that love heart theme. So I like how it's changed the bottom. Um, it says call me, message me, so cute, selfie, and 28 for calendar. Calendar calls, text, photos, camera. But I feel like, I don't know, I really wanted this to work, but it just doesn't match the wallpaper. And I'm obsessed with the wallpaper. I know it may not be everyone's cup of tea for a Valentine's themed device, but just because the main love of my life are my cats and obviously my boyfriend as well. Um, but this kind of sums up, you know, my love. I can say that these are my cats and this one's my boyfriend. So I'm still representing my love for him. But I don't think that these work as well as I would have hoped that they would. So I'm gonna go and try and find some other icons. All right, let's give pink 3D rabbit icon a go. It's very like, it's got some love heart motifs, but it's mostly just the color pink um, that I was liking. Mm, see, that doesn't really work either because the wallpaper is like outlined, whereas these are not outlined. So can you kind of see what I'm talking about? I think I like similar. See, this is why I usually just stick with the icons that come with the theme because I can never get anything perfect enough. So honestly, I've shown you guys some options, but I think I'm going to go back to the default icons that came with this theme. Okay, I have to admit this does look better. Uh, I guess I should have given more credit to the theme designer. They know what they're talking about and this definitely works. Even the message has a little love heart on it, so I think it still fits the theme. With this theme and the non-system apps, it does have quite a simple icon. It doesn't outline them, it doesn't do anything, and I think that that kind of works better because it's not like hard on the eyes. It's kind of easy to look at as well. Even though like these apps don't match the theme and they haven't been recovered, at least they're kind of very simple. So when I look here, these are all changed, but like the folders quite quite default. Uh, we'll see if we can change them up. Aha, we can. So sometimes themes let you be able to edit uh, the color of the actual folder. So I'm just going to set all of mine to be like a nice kind of pastely, pastely pink. Mm, yeah, that kind of is the same color as that. So we could maybe even do like a gradation from here up to like this kind of fuchsia color. So now we have different colors for the folders and I've had these folder names for so long. I think I want to fix them up and just make them a little bit love hearty. Do you guys like that better? I think it's nice. I've had, I had those previous symbols for like, I think since I got this phone and even though I kept it kind of the same with like the kind of symmetry, I just replaced all the emojis with love hearts and I think that works. 
All right, so now let's take a look at the always on display. It's probably too hard to actually see the always on display here because I've upped the brightness, but you really can't see it very much. So it's basically just the same as the wallpaper. You can take my word for it if you can't see it. One thing I'm not happy with is the clock here. I don't think that matches at all. So we're just gonna change the color. We'll probably make it like the same color as this bow or something. Do you think that looks okay? We could change the clock to like a solid one, which I think that, mm, I think this one is my favorite. Let's go with that. I don't really want this clock up here. So let's just remove that and trial a couple smaller widgets, smaller separate ones. So I do like that the weather can be a little bit smaller. Um, and I can also click on the clock and the weather as a separate app. Cause when I had it the same, Every time I click on it, it would just go to weather. It wouldn't go to the clock, even if I clicked on the time. So this changes based on time of day. The issue is, is that like, it just doesn't match. Like it's what, 2.30 and that's gonna be orange. So I don't really like that. So I'm thinking maybe just like a circle clock like that. But then I kind of need to get rid of my um, affirmations unless I make them smaller and move them down here. But that blocks that off. So maybe I might just remove the affirmations for this theme because we already know we're in love. We love Valentine's Day. That's my affirmations for the month. Okay, so that's looking a lot smoother. I feel like it's matching the phone case pretty well. I just want to have one quick look on the app store to see if I can find a better clock. Um, I just feel like it's not cutesy enough. I'll be happy to settle with it, but I will be settling. So let's see if we can find a better one just for now. So this one is Digital Clock Obediently Tell and it's by Arts Planet. I did use this clock in my previous phone video on the Bread Me. Um, and it does have a lot of options. The issue is, is that it doesn't have a lot of options at the beginning. You kind of need to use the capsule toy to unlock more options. So we'll see if we can make it work and find a cute one. So unfortunately, we only have these three clocks at the moment and I have to wait for the capsule toy to reset or watch an ad. Um, that's kind of how they get you. Uh, this one's actually so cute. It's like real digital themed, uh, but I don't think it matches. So just try the one that we used on my last video. It does kind of fit like weirdly enough, just because it's the same aesthetic. So I could definitely keep this one, uh, but then it kind of throws off the weather and I'll have to see if I can find a different weather. Um, but there's also another app. It's just called Cute Clock Widget. Um, so let's try placing a, ooh, let's do a two by four. So now we get to choose which two by four clock we want. And they do have a lot of cute options. This one I love, but not for the theme that we've decided on. This would work for a very like lacy, vintage, romantic kind of Valentine's theme, but it's just not the direction we happen to go in today. I never, I never know what the phone is going to look like when I plan these videos. So we just go with the flow and we find the best thing that works for us on the day. Hmm. You know, I'm not feeling it. I might honestly just go with this one and that way I can keep playing with it every day and trying to unlock one up until Valentine's Day that's more relevant because they do have options that are love hearty. So I think that's what I'm gonna go for. Okay, how do we feel about this? I think I'm content. Um, as I said, I wanna keep playing around with the clock to try and get a theme that fits better. But that is the thing that I love about this app is you can keep revisiting it and you can keep getting new and cuter themes every single time you use it. So I'll make sure to link that below as well. But you know what? I'm very happy with this re-theme. It's not as Valentine's-y as I would have expected, but it still definitely fits the love theme. And I think that the background and theme that we ended up choosing definitely fits the phone case. Um, and that was, you know, a main goal of mine because I love everything kind of being cohesive. So let me know in the comments below if you love this theme and if you're doing a Valentine's theme for your phone this year. I am very happy with how it turned out and I can't wait to see you in the next video. So I will see you then. Bye.
subscribe.